couple of months ago, I did a review on Lululemon's Run and Train shoe, and I wanted to see if there was a shoe that could do both, but really it was like, Eh. So, someone asked me what was my favorite training shoes and they are the Nike MC trainers. I got these ones because I used to wear the flex trains and the flex trains are, well, have been broken down way too much and also because of the color, it was really, really difficult to find outfits that looked really good with the shoe. And then the MC trainers, because they're black, but also with the different colors right there it worked a lot better with all my outfits and yeah it's black can't really go wrong with that i've had these shoes for about two years now i only wear them to the gym and i go to the gym like maybe two or three times a week so they still look really really good the only way to see if a shoe has been really broken down is like the white strip you can see the creasing there and some creasing there but for having worn it for two years i think it's held up really well if you are new to my channel though i have a bunion and these fortunately fits my bunion now i have a mild bunion but i don't know why i bought these in seven and a half back then when i didn't have my bunion but it fit really well like i'm usually a size seven like for reference my air force ones are size seven but also like the air force ones has a very wide footbed so that's why it fits my bunion and then this one is a seven and a half so if you do have a bunion and you're looking for workout shoes you can try these maybe size up one size or even just half a size the good thing about it is because it wraps your feet very nicely in here but doesn't shift around when you're doing like lunges or side lunges so when i say i work out in these shoes i really mean like workout heavy lifting here are some clips that i did where i am deadlifting when i'm deadlifting you can see that my feet aren't moving too much around like it's fully supported i do back squats in them i've done bulgarian split squats even just like looking at my shoes on the leg press right here you can see sometimes when you're doing leg presses or whatever exercise you need to like put pressure on your feet my feet wants to move inwards because I have flat arches but with these ones you can see that they are actually wrapping my feet so they're holding up my feet really really well so Nike doesn't sell this color anymore but they do have still the MC trainers in the color called platinum tint barely rose white metallic silver and because it is white silver and like rosy pink you can match it with a lot of your outfits, I think. Well, I think it's very versatile with lots of different outfits. A lot of my gym gear is black. I love wearing it with just like an all black outfit. The blue here, I can wear a full blue outfit. And then there is this green here where I can do a green top and black. And then the pink here, I can go with a pink top. And also, of course, with the white trim on the bottom, you can go a black white black so that's why i really really like these ones and thankfully they are just so good with heavy lifting and training in the gym now the one thing you have to remember is when you're getting training shoes don't wear them out like with casual outfits and stuff like that because it will break it down and it won't support your feet the way you'd like it to especially when you're doing like really heavy lifting that's why these have held up so well because i don't wear them out anywhere else besides the gym. So what I'm just trying to say is that for just training shoes that are less than $100, these are 95 on the Nike website. I think it's a really good price for it because there are so many training shoes now that are all over $100. I haven't tried them all yet, but for this pair, I think it's worth it. And maybe you might even be able to find them at like Sport Check. Sometimes they have discounts and stuff like that. And if you're just using it for training in the gym, yeah, maybe there are some colorways that you might not need to worry about but of course like a black one is always good a white one is always good but if you are looking for a shoe that you can wear casually but don't work out on these go check out my air force one video and then you might see like a little face right there as well if you click it you would be able to subscribe to my channel and that would help me so much so i will see you over there goodbye for now